mission is to kill Chaos. That's all I know. When are we gonna fight Chaos? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. What about Chaos? That Chaos doesn't exist? The Chaos Shrine. Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. And where there's a crystal, there's Chaos. Come on. Are you Chaos? You told us he made a deal with Chaos. And where? Where did this desperate urge to eradicate Chaos come from? Chaos takes hold. Me? Chaos? Chaos. This world needs Chaos! You know what Chaos is? Chaos is the stream starting to a level 5 hype train. That's Chaos, but not the good time. All of you are fired! Fired, chat! Yep, just fired all of you. You're not supposed to hype train before I even start. It's like, it's like you look at the rules and then you ignore them. You choose chaos every single time. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Happy Heart Day 2024. It's the reason we're starting a smidge earlier. That way everybody has time for Heart Day festivities if they so choose to have them. Alex says, bye Echo, we'll leave now. <laughs> Creeper, we do have some um, SpaceX enthusiasts in the channel. Ed says, fired, Echo fired chat, in parentheses, again. How you doing, Ed? Brian Matt's a big enthusiast. Glenn Sullivan's a big enthusiast. So you do have um, some like-minded individuals in here. Alex in with the prime for two months and says, bye chat. <laughs> we had a lot of pre-stream love. Let's go back to the beginning at Brian Matt's 18 months, 18 months from Brian. That's a year and a half, at least according to stream math. Okay. I could be off on that one. Thank you, Brian. Brave gamer cat with the nine months. And correct me if I'm wrong, I believe, yep, Brave Gamer Cat just finished their carnivore achievement. So big round of applause for Brave Gamer Cat and thank you again for the nine months. Aspect Tiamat with the eight months. Says, I can't believe it's been eight months already. Thank you, Aspect, I appreciate it. Ed just did a uh, follow age in the chat and learned that he's only been following for two months, seven days because they wanted to do the little game where you unfollow and then refollow. And now you don't have a good follow age. See what you've done, Ed? This is why we can't have nice things. Nope, can't have nice things. Silver Fox, in with the seven months. I appreciate you, Silver Fox. Kirio5, gifting a tier one sub to Oniax. Thank you for the gifted sub, Kiri. For those of you who all are trying to do it now, there is a, a cooldown, so you gotta wait. You have to be you have to be creepy about it. I probably should take that cooldown off. Brian Matt in with 10 gifted subs. That's a whole lot of love, Brian. I appreciate it. Aspect TMN in with 100 bits says stream day. Yeah, it is. Arson is Sam's and Doff in with some sound alerts. <laughs> it was a well-timed dote too. It was like right during the, the apex of silence for the music and you just heard a dote. It was pretty good. Suarez with the gifted subs. Still trying to figure that one out. Suarez. Suarez. Thank you again. Aspect Tiamat with another gifted sub. Thank you so much. Alex with the prime two months ago. And we finished up the hype train with 100 bits and 18 gifted subs. And Jarifa said, nope, I want more. So they threw in their tier one for two months saying happy Valentine's Day. Happy heart day back. 
Let me go see if I can reduce the cooldown on that real quick. Where is my thing? Chad, I can't find my thing. I found my thing. It was right where I left it. It was right there. Follow age. Cooldown. Uh, zero. I will do a zero cooldown, but let's not let's not abuse it. Okay. Actually, I can do a user cooldown. No, this is good. This is fine. This is this is gonna be okay. I trust chat. They're not gonna abuse it. Aspect TMAT says, I've been subbed longer than I've been following. It happens if you unfollow and refollow, it resets your follow age. Naz says, wait, why is the stream at 3 p.m.? Wasn't it supposed to be at 4.30? Yes, normally it is a 4.30 thing, um, but we started a little bit earlier because of the holiday. There's a lot of folks who have plans. I'm also trying to cook a nice dinner. King Conus with the eight months, six days, and seven hours. I like how the follow age goes down to the hours. <laughs> Creeper says, wait, isn't it 2 a.m.? Ed says, what are you cooking? Flamin' yawn. A little bit of steak action. Ooh, or as some people call them, um, tenderloins. Like Naz. <laughs> Nazim with some pie bitties said, happy Valentine's Day. Best day to hit the gym in the evening. <laughs> I like that. I hit the gym this morning, though. Sore as I says, cooking stream. Man, that would be such a cluster. I am a decent cook. But the whole idea of setting up a little studio in a kitchen is absolutely mind boggling for me. Codes, man, why are you sending me gifts? Since I sent your gift a few hours ago, hopefully you should get it before Monday. They said you will have it Friday, but I don't trust that. <laughs> it's funny because I, I did some shipping today too. I sent out um, the gifts that we gave away on, what was it, Sunday? And well, I tried to do some shipping. In order to ship internationally, did anybody know that I actually need the phone number of where it's going? At least according to UPS. They said it's a customs thing. It confuses me. Like, why? If it doesn't make it through customs, send it back. I don't think you need a phone number to send things in the mail. Ed said, just put your own phone number. Well, I don't think the people at this particular shop were the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm sending a package to Germany. I'm pretty sure if I gave them a US phone number, they'd catch on. But then again, I might be I might be giving people too much credit. Lightspeed says thank you to the person that gifted a sub. First time chatter. We appreciate you saying your thanks. Thork says, I'm in Utah. I'm going to get it fast. Yeah, you are. It went out today. It did go out today. I love how when people discover, like the chat rediscovers the follow age thing. It's like, oh, there's new toys. Okay, so we have another story. I tried hanging the picture right there. And we have a problem. First... The, the way it was made, so you have the glass, then the picture, and then the, the backing. I tried taking the glass out. None of the posters back there have glass because the glass reflects the lights. There's lights sitting here. You can kind of sometimes see them in my glasses. Well, you can't get the glass out of that canvas. 
unless I did major reconstruction surgery on the particular framing. So I ended up just hanging it right there. So I get to see it, but none of you do until we do like a studio tour. Just for the record, that's where it is. And then Ed knows the super secret hey. commands. <laughs> the commands command? The commands command. That you get a list of every command in the channel. Haunted said we're doing a studio tour today. No, we're not doing a studio tour. <laughs> I would have to I would have to prepare ahead of time. There's no studio. It's what you see. The only thing you guys don't see is that is somewhat interesting is my desk. Um, and I sometimes post pictures of it to the Discord. Simi says the studio tour is after the rap roll call. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. I almost ruined this whole thing. Whenever I'm feeling lonely on Valentine's Day, I just pop into a fresh Perrier. It's refreshing, warms my soul, and hydrates my body. It's everything you need. Aspect Tia Matt says, Golly Mountain Internet is failing me today. Your internet provider's name is Golly Mountain? G like they could have thought a couple more minutes on that name. Or is that the name of the place? Golly Mountain? Or maybe Tiamat saying, Golly Mountain Internet is failing me today. Brian Matt says, Perrier, it's wet and has bubbles. What more do you need? <laughs> Aspect to you, Matt, does say it's golly, mountain internet. There's a comma in there, yes. Is that a new mug that I need to add to my collection, says Coach Man? No, this is the this is the koozie. This is the canned koozie. I'm not 100% happy with it because I'm going to try to show you guys if my camera will cooperate. Come on, catch up, catch. There it goes. It's a little, the image is a little darker than what I'd prefer. But um, it works out well. It's a good koozie. Less soul in for the 11 months. Says, hey, everyone, got to run for an appointment. Hope to see you back later. If not, va vaudeville bound. Thank you, Less Soul, so much for the 11 months. I appreciate the support. Can I have a Perrier without the bubbles? Yes. You open it walk away, come back three hours later, and there you go. You have a Perrier without the bubbles. <laughs> oh, Myla says, since the last stream, I've had strep throat. Big not fun. We hope you feel better. Strep throat is horrible. Omega says the fire gave Echo its hand. <laughs> yes, there is a mug with that image. And you can get them with different colors inside. You can get a standard mug or you can get the ones with the color. Aspect Tiamat has filled sick for the past few days. Sorry to hear that, Tiamat. One thing I always... It always blows my mind when you're at a restaurant or whatever and people walk in, they do their business and they walk out without stopping at the sink. It absolutely blows my mind. It's like they didn't have the rudimentary education that says, hey, this is how we stop germs. And it's, it's even beneficial for them themselves. All right. Because every time they touch something and then human beings have this tendency 
to touch their face and put their eye, their fingers in their eyes and their mouth and their nose. And it's like, come on. Because even though I am very good about keeping my hands off my face, every once in a while, you never know. <laughs> JD plays, welcome back, says sinks are overrated. Just ask the dupes if there's a cue, they just skip it. <laughs> oh. Dravy81 in with a 10 months. I appreciate it, Dravy. Weezer says, why are the hats so expensive? What what are the prices on the hats? Uh, what's my sign in? Hold on. Hold on. I make so little money on the merch. When I do close the merch store and reopen it a little later, once I figure out some new designs, some fresh designs, if you will, um, stuff will probably be more expensive. All right. We talking about the logo trucker hat or the logo dad hat? Logo trucker hat. is $25. I think that's a fair price. To be completely transparent, on that hat I make I make Jimmy T time says, I really have to turn my discord notification noises on. I always miss stream starts. Well, this time it's my fault, Jimmy T time, because we started a little bit earlier today to get this stream in before um, happy heart day festivities. Brave Gamer Cat says, being a scientist, I have a hard time with my interns not touching their face with gloves. Oh, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. If there's one thing I have been the most nagging about to my kids, it's keeping their hands out of their face. And it's because, you know, they grew up in the the COVID timeline, right? I don't like that there's a whole COVID timeline and now they're trying to define children by it. But regardless, it emphasized the fact that keep your hands out your face. But now even when a kid comes home from school, and they're sick, it's like, you know what caused it. It's not necessarily the you that had your germs. It's probably um, nasty little Johnny over there who never washes their hands. But then you touch something that Johnny did and then you put your hands in your face. JD Blaze says, sink skipping leads to better immune system, right? Of course it does. <laughs> Brian Matt says, elementary school kids are a walking Petri dish. That is so true. Just watch them for five minutes and it's like, oh, you nasty little tiny humans. <laughs> oh. Ed said kids are gross. <laughs> Look, this is not trying to become an anti-kid stream. But yes, we can all agree they are walking little Petri dishes. Alex, I appreciate the lurk. Brave Gamer Cats is my favorite lab professor said, even with new gloves, imagine you have feces on them using the adult word. <laughs> I sometimes prefer the kitty word. Poop. <laughs> Bye, Roy Maniac. In with the three months at the tier one. Thank you very much, Pie Roy. Welcome back. Zoldan says kids are gross and this exact conversation happened in another stream I was watching a couple weeks ago it devolved into kids eating their boogers <laughs> <Ew. 
<laughs> and part of it is self-serving, right? Because I don't have the strongest of all immune systems, right? My immune system is not the greatest. And so when people bring germs into the house, I am guaranteed to get the sniffles or worse. And I don't like to be sick. No one likes to be sick. I'm just more cognizant of the things that make me sick. JD Plays says, I call my kids Petri dishes on stream. They get sick like five times a year. Oh, is that it? Oh, child's play. Child's play. I'm talking. So my youngest um, little chick has the immune system that I do. So if there's a germ somewhere in the room, um, not only is she going to walk over, grab it, and then touch her face, she's also then gonna get, going to get sick. I'm talking, we miss a day of school at least. At least, sometimes two days of school every month. Ed says, yep, those are amateur numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Let's get some, uh, we got some auction not included coming in today. I'm excited because we get to play more into the, what we're calling a power brick. Uh, that hopefully turns out to be a power brick. You know, <laughs> because it's, it's a little, it's a little warm. <laughs> it says, I like bricks. <laughs> oh. JD plays says speaking of six, I have I have a child at home with COVID and I have the sniffles. This is not good. I've never had COVID. You've got this. You've got this. I wish you the best of luck and we'll be thinking of you, Jenny Plays. Um, but just make sure you drink more fluids than you've ever drank in your entire life. You'll be okay. All right, let's get uh, going with the roll call. For those of you new to the channel, have I gotten a better command for this yet? We'd like to do a roll call to thank everybody for spending their most valuable resource, their time. And in a way we do that is we say hello to everybody who wants to be said hello to. And all you have to do to be included in said roll call is say something like booger or Petri dish or escargot, Yay! whatever you want to say, feather with the seven months says, heck yeah, I'm in time for roll call. <laughs> Nim said boogie. <laughs> Dr. Dangerous in with the kumquat. It's a good opportunity for you to say words that you don't always say, right? It's a good opportunity. Phronimus says congruently. That's a good one. I'm surprised I was able to get out of my mouth. Oh, geek, geek, what are you doing? Prestidigitation. Pre prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. I got it. Uh huh. So real black feather it says a word I don't get to say like snickerdoodle. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Uh, this new. What do you call it? Tradition. Where everybody just says some weird word. I knew it was coming. The supercalifragilistic expialidosis. I knew it was coming. Credit to Alex. <laughs> Welcome and happy heart day 2024 to everyone out there. Welcome to the stream. And we'll today we'll start off with Augusta 9. Alex is here. Anti-socialian. Nailed it. Aquatic boat. Aspect Tiamat. Orand QB? Orand QB. I got it. Auto 64,852. Brave Gamer Cat. Ed. First of their name, Bunda Pressure. 
Codes, man, 9,000. Dex3D, leader of the Council of Meeps. Dogbarian, double decker soul wrecker. Dravy81, Dr. Dangerous. Elizadel, Flutterdass98, Fronima, Geek and Go, Jaded Nightwing. Jarifa2, JD Plays is here. Can we get a shout out for one JD Plays, please? Gueranaut. That's close. That's got to be close. King Konus. Kirio 5. Kitsune 1. Kutai Ed Returns. Lunar Void. Mylar Loki Doter. I, I think I got Myla. But the Loki Doter is I'm unsure about. Naz is here. And Zan. Nim 4409. Omega 7X. Phoenix Dreams. Puzzlina, Puzzlina sounds like a character in like a Mario edition of an RPG. Maybe a Mario RPG and the newest princess is Puzzlina. That, that's got to be it. PVG Pelvis, Pyroi Maniac, Queen Calero, Silver Fox 342, Suarez, Shady Walker, Sleeping Turtle, Snipes 290, Sorio Blackfeather, level one, thief. Stream Elements, the bot. Safirian, the haunted, 318. TKB Nico, Weazar, Zimmy 99, and Zolden Orlamu. Yes, there's already a Mario RPG, but this is a new R R Mario RPG that has more puzzles. Like it's a Mario RPG that adds in elements of Zelda. And the princess is Puzzlina. In fact, I'm going to try... We, we're going to design that game. We're going to keep going and designing that game the more Puzzlina stops in. It's a tune from GW2. There's, There is puzzles, so that name. Okay. Guild Wars. I'm, I'm assuming you mean Guild Wars. Doug Berrien says, how was the vacation? It was good, but it was one of those vacations where I needed a vacation after the vacation. Nico says to Naz, in French, it's also supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Guild Wars is actually one of the franchises that I never tried. And there was a time that I was hurting for a good MMO. And that was one I did not. Better than others on the Loki Doter. And you were the first to get Myla. Like, my love. Right the first time. I'll take it. I'll take whatever wins I can get. Front of us says, I just came after watching a streamer who played Ani for the first time. That was chaos. <laughs> I'll bet you it was good. Yay! Kiri says, I should try anti disestablishmentarianism. Boom! I just nailed that and you know it. All right? Like, that was perfect. That was pretty good for my first attempt. We also had Puzzlina coming in with a tier one for six months a few minutes ago. I appreciate you, Puzzlina. And then Tori Ri? Tori Ri. Tori Ri. Tori Ri. Is that an L or an I? Hold on. I had my eyes. It, you know, um, it's Tori Ri. Welcome, and I appreciate the, the Twitch Prime. Name event. Absolute's trying to name event Puzzlina Gold Vent, because that name is pure gold. <laughs> we'll save that one. Let's get it fired up. Fire it up! You do realize I can never say that word ever again in my entire life, because I will butcher it the second time. But I am very proud of myself.
Puzzlinus is still learning from you. Also have more than 3,500 hours in Ani. Well, as Ed would say, so you're still working on the tutorial, huh? <laughs> try a finish word? No, I no, I'm smarter than to even try. I, I know not to try a finish word. Oh no, there's no way I'm trying that. That has more letters than the the alphabet. Okay, why is my unable to sync? Let's play anyways. Thank you, Steam. You're you're a rock star. Actually, you're not rock star. You're Steam. Let's get it going. Welcome, everybody. We got a good stream coming at you today. We're gonna play some mocks. You're not included. We're gonna be building a power brick. Unfortunately, there are a couple of uh, of roadblocks in the fact that there is. Whoa, that's loud. Simmer, simmer. A couple of volcanoes sitting there. Bloop. Rakeen! Oh! Going from a prime sub to a tier one. I appreciate you. Isn't today the sour gas boiler today? It might be. <laughs> Let's be honest. It might be. Oh, I had to reinstall uh, marble, more marble sculptures and more small sculptures because my dumpster fire colony, my chaos crew that's up at like 2,500 cycles, wouldn't load without them. After I took all the mods out to try to troubleshoot what was causing the issues. Oh, here it is. Look at this gloriousness. It looks done, but it's not. We have... This is very temporary. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, no. Don't let all that out. All right. So, it's at 260 degrees. We have six steam turbines just crushing it. Kitsune One is also about to take a COVID test. Good luck. Fingers crossed. Let us know. Let us know. Any Hungarian says absolute. Oh, wow. There's no way. All right. So we have this is good. So we're just sort of ready to make this a true dirty brick, right? We did decide on dirty brick. Because we have a whole lot of dirty we're going to want to put in here. Starting with, obviously, um, not starting with, but we're going to get some petroleum generators in there. What's going on here? Huh? Ooh, we're finally getting some of this mopped. There's 45 kilos worth of steam. Oh, this is also the problem. All the igneous rock sitting in here, or that's going to be coming out of here. We're going to have to build another debris chiller. Where do we put it? It's going to be, it, it has to be a larger debris chiller. And all the dupes are going to be bringing hot igneous rock. Look at the granite in here. It's 90 degrees. Oy vey. What's the difference between a clean and a dirty sauna? This right now is a clean sauna. We're going to be making it dirty because we're going to allow carbon dioxide to accumulate in here. And so the, and the reason why it works is because steam is lighter than carbon dioxide. So the steam will still rise and the carbon dioxide will sink. All right, uh, we need to do a couple of things. First, I need to get in here. It's all steam right now. Hmm. I think I want to do this. Like this, maybe? When does this idle? I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want a bunch of hydrogen popping off. So we'll get started working on that. I might as well put some things in here now. We don't have a ton of room, so we're going to have to be careful. 
Sea Dancer with the four months says four months and still loving your stream. Thank you so much, Sea Dancer. Ed in with a pandiculate and a drink. Oh. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate you. Cheers to you. JD plays says the pressure is too high for the hydrogen vent. It's not going to do anything. Um, true statement, yeah. True statement. I still don't want to take a chance. I'm still going to do it, kind of wait until this thing gets done and rip it open. Because right now there's only nine kilos in here. So it's still not going to erupt because it's over five kilos. My, my luck, I would start ripping these out. It'd create like a mini quick vacuum and then hydrogen would come out. You know, it would still happen. That's Echo Ridge Gaming. Um, what do we have for Natty Gas? Did we have some natural gas? I have three colonies going right now, so I'm getting everything confused. What are you guys doing up here? Grabbing copper. What are my power sources that I even have? Do I need to go straight into... Petroleum boilers? I have hydrogen. Uh oh, trapped already? Oh, absolute Tina, like you knew that was gonna happen. Ah. Uh. Obsidian, what do I have around? I have obsidian. Let's see how fast this goes. You're doing great. Hold your breath. Don't talk, though. Okay? Don't talk. Come on. You can do it. Oh, wait a minute. I can just deconstruct the ladder, can't I? Boop. Yay! Good job. All right. All right. It's still emitting. So I'm going to wait just another. I'm going to put this here. The hydrogen will rise, too. If any of it comes out, it'll go up to the roof. So this is okay. Kiri with the, why don't you just deconstruct the ladder? <laughs> Look, I don't think of all the solutions immediately. Sometimes it takes a second for my neurons to fire from one spot to the other. All right. Um, power. Hydrogen generators. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, should I put them in their own room? We do have... How big is this right here? 81? I might be able to make this its own room. Something like this. Battery. Oh, we're using up a lot of our goodies. Dupes only do as they are told to. If they get trapped, it's always Echo's fault. No, that's not true. That is not true. Do not listen. Do not listen to JD. JD, JD speaks lies and deceit. All right, where's my power control station? Do they have an overheat temperature? I don't think they have an overheat temperature. Let's find out, shall we? Bloop, bloop. Uh... Oh, wait, this is going to go over one because I need to open this somehow. Like maybe right here. There we go.
Poor dupes are always getting yelled at. Did you see the title of the stream? We love our dupes, okay? We take care of our dupes. We mentor our dupes. Steel, steel, steel. Let's see what size that is. Oh, uh, no, wait, I'm gonna have to get power in here. How am I gonna do that? Let's go like here and here. Power. Heavy walk conductive. There we go. Now it's beautiful. There we go. Front of my check in the death count. <laughs> Maybe the power control station is closer to the door. It depends, because, like, I could have a power control station right here. They'll still make the microchips here and then move it to the to the power, um, to the generators. They don't necessarily make them here. In fact, you can keep this one unchecked. Plus, I wanted all four hydrogen generators to look pretty. Bloop. There we go. All right, so we've got this in. Let's go here, go here. Put some priority on this. Maybe maybe not that much priority. I want to get this analyzed. There we go. Ventilation, gas pump. Steel. And I am going to keep one Atmos sensor in here. This doesn't, uh, it's gonna be a little hot. I need to keep some hydrogen in here so it offsets the 500 degrees, even though the 500 degrees is not a big deal. Lead automation wire, yeah. Lead doesn't burst until uh, we get to what? Like 300 something? 327. And now I want to get rid of all this. Now, before anything goes in here, this is going to be the pain in the tuchus. I have to dump steam somewhere. And it's too thick in here. Because I got to empty this room. So we'll go like this. Oh, I need some power too. Do 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 do. I can't do, I can't use a tank and then delete the tank because it will have hydrogen in it. No doubt there'll end up being hydrogen in here. Uh, let me go with some of, uh, let me get a large power transfer. Where do I want it though? Hmm. Maybe over here. There we go. Red. All right, good, 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 good. This will be on what, 90, let's say 60 for now. Not 100% sure. And let's get those nines going. Now. 
I guess we're just gonna have to make a mess. That's about all we can do is make a mess. And I'll make it right up here. Gas reservoir. The nice and pretty one, of course. Extra decor from the gold wires. I don't have a lot of gold. And I got 50 tons of lead. Mmm, delicious. All right. Ventilation. We're just going to go over, up, tuck. Something like this. Into here. For now. And is that it? 106 grams per second. That's not shabby. That is not shabby. I do want to keep some in here. We're going to say 500. That way there's something for the temperatures to transfer. And that way when the hydrogen does erupt at that 500 C, it mixes in with the, the hydrogen that's going to be 200 C. And I suppose I need to get a handle on this water. Because it's about time for petroleum boiler. Starving? Absolute, Tina, you're not starving. What do we got? Digging operating research is not bad. Not great, though. So I think we'll just take some more curative tablets. EMAP, welcome back. All right. Uh, we have one water source here. Where's our other water sources? Because I would like to tame that as soon as we can. Chad, I've got a great idea. Let's work on all the projects at the same time. Okay. How much is this going to give us? Wow. Look at the size. Three kilos per second forever. Which means this one vent can run our petroleum boiler. That is fantabulous. EMAP says, I would like to joyously announce that it's official. I'm going off to university. Congratulations, EMAP. Did you find water on your YouTube gameplay? Asked Big Daddy. Uh, I don't know if I want to give you the spoiler. I don't know if I want to spoil that for you. Weezer says, have you considered getting water? It's funny because there's a lot of comments like, just use your sand. People don't, people don't, I guess, understand the way I prefer to play. I like to be cautious because what happens with some people's colonies is they'll say, okay, I'm just going to use the sand. And then they run out of sand and then their colony dies. So I prefer to wait until I have sustainable solutions. Saltwater pump will go into the spawn. Um, some of it, but we have uh, we have another water source. Where was it? Hello? Where are you? Oh, here with this saltwater. All right, so this is good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then I can just turn this on. Why don't you have power? That is not true statement. Oh. Ah! Got it. Bloop. 
Bloop. Heavy walk conductive panel. Made out of lead just to make JD happy. If you're happy and you know it. You just connected salt water into the clean water? Um, did I? I think I did. I think they're absolutely correct. Boop. I have to wait to turn that. Um, because these are not staying here. Because this is not going to be a water pond for much longer. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put these desalinators. Ooh. Can I desalinate in a 200 degree sauna? Is that a bad idea? I feel like it's a bad idea. Kind of Newman says it bursts the pipe. It's probably because of when it's sitting in the desalinator. So I need another cooling location. Hmm. I haven't done a whole base cooling loop yet. Uh, we have right here. Okay, so I can put them right here. And then we'll use this cooling loop to cool them all down. Okay. Brilliant. What do you mean? Unbuilt. Oh, we're out of sandstone. For the love of Pete. What are we not out of? We need to do more digging. Oh. We need to do some digging. There's actually surprisingly little resources here. Look at all this igneous rock. Oh no, that's hot, isn't it? Yep. Everything's too hot. Let's go like this. Yes. Go get the goodies. And we'll leave it there. There is a chlorine vent. I Am I the only one that confuses the chlorine color with the natural gas color? Ed says, is anybody getting a lot of buffering? And then Emap says, no, just your end. The chlorine and the natural gas are just too similar in color. What kind of... We're getting copper, icy, and slimy. Meteors is what we can expect. Whatever. We need to be able to tap into this stuff, which means I want a giant... Ah, this is our natural gas one, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So I want my natural gas generators in here, too. I have way too many things going on right now. I can already tell. It's gonna be one of those streams where we get nothing. Oh, what happened here? 2.30. Hmm. Let me try it one more time. It may be getting hot flashes when this thing erupts. Chlorine is green and natural gas is orange. <laughs> turtle, turtle says orange is such a terrible color. No wonder we burn natural gas. <laughs> it fell again. Why? Two fifty. It might be getting spikes. Yep, see the spike? It just went up to 320 something. W 
Where is it? Spi ah, look at this. Like this one steam is 364. So we still have not... Oh, I know what we're missing in here, chat. We're missing temperature shift plates. That's the reason we still have inconsistencies. Can't see them, but they are there. Like this is 350 right here. Oh, chat. Oh, we don't have the materials. What are we going to make them out of? At this point, I'll use just about anything. What is this? Mafic rock? This is what we're using. All right, let's go. We'll start down here. This will be fine. One, two. No, we're not doing. This is why. Once the temperature shift plates are in, they'll all exchange heat. Little batteries, it'll be a lot more stable. Arsonist sands with a dote. This is not a dote situation. This is expert gameplay. Oh, I don't have blueprints installed. Why not use the igneous rock that's already hot? Because we need to feed that to our hatches. Oh. Pocket of the pie. Welcome back. Oh. It's all right. You're not the boss of me, game. You are not the boss of me. I wish there was a minor, like a blueprints small. Blueprints limited. Where it just had the the sort of copy pasty thing. Didn't you use lead wires in the hydrogen vent box? That box is not going to be that hot. It might take me a little bit, but we're going to get it going. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. We got this. All right. Now I have my little, my snapshot. Nothing's entombed. Go away. There we go. Just a walking down the street. Wait, this is not my whole blueprint. I want this. There we go. Plink. Blink. We will... It did it again. It erased half my blueprint. Oh, maybe not. Big hugs back, Arsonist Sands. I too like hugs. We're almost there. This is why it's worth it just to go. And... Grab the blueprints real quick. We're going to do it while we're saved, too, so I can go erase all this. Bloop, bloop. And, and closer. Bing. Look how good this looks, except I keep getting rid of my, my little, my tool. Don't make jokes. <laughs> I 
Uh, one thing I did mess up on, these are all on priority five. Yes. Let's get nothing accomplished this entire stream. Ed says makes joke. Yeah, you do. Right there. Blink. Blink. Now, some of these are going to melt, but that's fine. Nope, 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 nope. Right there. This is so very tedious. This is one part. Like, I still enjoy this part of the game, but it is very kind of like, oh, come on, for the love of Pete. Not again. Not in here. Not all up here. I think the rest we can probably do manually. What do we think, chat? I'm thinking it looks good. I'm thinking I'm sure we forgot something. Like that. Oh, uh, why is that obsidian in there? No. The wallpaper is missing. Haunted? Don't start on the Wii Azar fan club, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, they are still touching Neutronium. Thank you. Boop, boop, boop. For those of you wondering why we do this, it's because you can't inject temp inside of Neutronium. So it's just sort of... Uh... I don't know if it's wasteful. Because I don't know what happens to the temperature shift plate when it tries to. Does that heat go away? I don't know. But it's not doing anything, that's for sure. At worst, you save the resources. Yeah, I like that, Zen Zenya. I agree. All right. This is settled for now. Oh, my goodness. Once those get in, um, let me get this done first. So I can get some other power. Of course, we're not going to need power for quite some time. Because these steam turbines are giving us a lot. All right, come on. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Now we won't have any hot spots. The more of those go in. Who's trapped? What did you do? Oh, Yvay. This one's not bad. Not obsidian, though. Why are we making all this out of obsidian? There you go. All right. That'll give us some materials there. Now, what was I working on? We're kind of working on this. I got to have everything on a priority of six right now because all of this is on a priority of five. Let me see if I can change that real quick. This can go up to a five. Good. This can be five. Beautiful. One plate is touching a bisolite. Bloop. Now. 
what do I start with? We have the power right now. We have the power! I think we get our water situ- What is going on down here? Okay, so this is a thing. Where are you two? You guys are going in the center. This only needs to go like this. Not that you were, it was costing us anything. And then this one, what are you doing? Where's the one for these suits? It's because we're spending so much time out of the suits. Is what it is. And you're telling me there's no suits up here? I know that uh, there's one thing. There's no suits for the last, last five. I know we built them, right? More hot tubs. Yes. Defillion says it might be minuscule, but you'll probably be saving yourself a thermal conductivity check on the plate moving energy into the tile. That's a good point, too. So, frames. And then this is... What is, what is this doing? So, this is still feeding... But it should be feeding this way. Like this? No. I suppose we can do that. I don't love it. I don't love this design. We're gonna end up changing this one day. It's kind of ugly. And I don't like it. All right, water. Where's my water? Make sure this is all salty. And why are these still running? There is no way. There is no way we're using that much power. What are we running? Think about it. We have all these steam turbines up here running. We have all these steam turbines running. And you're telling me these three coal generators still have to run? Oh, we have had it. Oh, Duncan! Oh. And Absolute Tina. Here we go. So, what do we do here? I guess we are running several. Where are you? Yeah, we have these three aqua tuners. They're all running. It doesn't make sense to me. You're telling me we're still trying to catch up with this crude oil? We have 117 kilos in here. Mm. I don't have anything better. 
I don't have anything better. Another digger, maybe? Do we have enough diggers? Dave Hammer with the five gifted subs. Welcome back. I appreciate the gifted subarinos. Hmm. How many diggers do we have? We have four diggers. That seems to be plenty. So we'll reject all these. All right, so this is sealed up now. This will come up into here. Like I still, I'm so, why do we have so many power sources? <laughs> Super sus is I'm back with another Ahuga. <laughs> The power grid on this play. And we have these steam turbines running. Let me seal these up. This water is now being chilled by itself. Because it's being chilled up here. So there's no reason to have both of these on. Alright, let's get rid of these... We'll leave this here for now because these haven't ran 2% in the last five cycles. So that's fine. We're making some headway with the temperature shift plates. Tune the lower turbines. It'd be a pain. I'd have to separate them a little bit, which I think we could do by moving this over. I'd have to go without one steam turbine too. What's my maximum rate for one desalinator? 3,500, which is plenty. So we're just gonna put one right down here. Bloop. This water is 25 degrees. Can I use it? Yes, I can. Of course, using the cooling loop would be a little bit better. But I don't have any spare polluted water right there. I don't know. You deconstructed a transformer? Probably. Yep, right here. This one has plenty. All right. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna need that because need some power. Wait a minute, how much does this have? Oh, and I got rid of the, this is funny. Bloop. There we go. I can just use this line here. Perfect. Ish. Mm. This is going to take forever to clean up because I'm going to need to have so many wires coming out of, for instance, everywhere. Well, I guess we said we were going to have them come out of here, right? So I can start slowly replacing all of them. I don't know. One thing is for certain though, the water throughput is not doing well. Ninety-seven percent out of that thermal aqua tuner, ninety-seven percent on that one. They all have been running 97% of the time. Mm -hmm. 
why. It's not... I mean, it's cooling 10 kilos worth of water in one rail segment. It's because you chose oil. I had no choice to use oil. It's the best we had. I can't use polluted water in this situation because it could spike. I can't use regular water because it could spike. Cobalt coming out of here at 127. I mean, there's a chance. It's a chance. Hmm. I just feel like it was working better earlier. So something seems to have changed. Unless it's still not caught up from our earlier disaster. Are there any bridges? More aqua tuners? I don't know if we can afford more aqua tuners. There's no power bridges in it. Plumbing bridges? This one doesn't matter. No. No, doesn't matter. Automation bridge? Leaking heat? Radiant pipe inside the steam room or something silly? That, I mean, that could be it. No. No. Yeah, I don't know. We'll leave it for now. There seems to be a few holes in the flow inside the pipes that messes with aqua tuners. Yeah, that's the 97%. These little holes right here. That's the reason why it's never even at 97%. There's probably three holes. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm not going to... We have other things to do. I will worry about that when I can do something about it. Uh, water, desalinator. Here we go. Just take a look. Counterflow the water versus debris is fighting each other. Yeah, but the counterflow is it helps equalize the cooling effectiveness from one side to the other. Because if we had them both running at once. This aqua tuner would be working all the time, but this one wouldn't. So I chose to counterflow them for that specific reason. To make sure that the heat was being evenly distributed throughout it. It also misses the blob directly after the hole. All right, so there's blob. Goes in, gets used. Here's the next one. Well, there's the hole. There was the bypass. So maybe more oil. I mean, I could try water. Oh, this is going to be a mistake. I already know this is going to be a mistake. But I, I make... I, it, it's just... Let's see how much more effective it is. 4.179. 4.179. Thermal conductivity of 5.8. Let's go... Let's go with oil. Crude oil. Boop. So it's 2.5 times more effective on the specific heat capacity. Mm. But less effective on the thermal conductivity. Yeah. NAFTA is definitely not it. We've compared NAFTA before. 
Naphtha is only good when you need those extreme temps as well, and you don't have oil. Petroleum's the same as crude oil, just about. I tell you what, let's for science. For science! How much do I have in here? 650. Let's go like uh, this. I just, I really worry about the flashing. Boop. And separate it. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Thermal conductivity does not matter. Use pee water, says Haunted. Thermal conductivity does matter. 1,000, 4,000%. We have gone over this 700 times. It's not that it doesn't matter. It's just that specific heat capacity is a major driver, and it's very dependent on your situation. And I've done these tests over and over and over again. It is very dependent on your situation. For instance, let's, so let's break down the problem into minors and majors, right? So let's, in other words, how do I say this? Let's amplify the use case saying thermal conductivity does not matter. Well, if it had a thermal conductivity of zero, it wouldn't cool anything. So there's the proof in the building that it does matter. What do we got? Oh, we're about full. Let's go there. Let's go here. Mmm, proof pudding. <laughs> There's definitely use cases where thermal conductivity matters. Doff says thermal conductivity does not matter with the aqua tuners, but it does very much matter with the transfer to adjacent waters and tiles. Thank you, Doff. I don't. Somebody a long time ago told the Ani community that thermal conductivity didn't matter, and they just ran with it. And a lot of people have just taken this as heart. And I think it's probably because maybe they're thinking because the aqua tuner gets 14 degrees regardless. I don't know. But nothing we use has a conductivity of zero, says Haunted. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying that to be, to show the absolute, right? Because if there was no change from an absolute of zero to an infinite, like then you could say it doesn't matter. But there is a matter there. All right, so now we have plenty of polluted water. I thought, when's it gonna catch up? Okay, here it goes. It's catching up now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. First, I'm gonna drain. Let me find a better spot to do it. I like the way Monkey 91 man. Specific heat capacity matters for aqua tuners because 14 C's always. So with a high specific heat capacity, liquid then total energy potential is high. I agree with that. Condict. Oh, I made this out of the wrong material because I am a muppet. Oh, every time. Echo, every time. Beep, beep. Uh, steal this time, please. Thank you very much. Check the buffer tank with the pee water. I'm about to drain some out of it. 860. Why does it do that? I block it from leaving. 
fill it up. Oh, it's draining all of this into it first. I don't know. Maybe we need to. <laughs> I didn't add any pee water. I thought it was sitting there long enough. I was wrong. I was clearly wrong. Bloop. All right, do we have this drained yet? Not yet. Let's go like this. You did the same thing last stream. No, I didn't. My memory doesn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let me wait. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. We have to wait for the whole thing to empty, fill the, the tanks. This is a big cooling loop. Heat death type. No, we're not doing heat death. I reject that. Just cut before the bridge. Cut before the bridge. Cut, oh, like this. I mean, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> Bingo! Where's my polluted water? No, oh. This'll help. I am really tired of starvation messages. We have tubies. You should be zoom zooming everywhere you want to go. Zoom zoom. Narcoleptic suit wearing cook. A tidier and a supplying digger. We'll go rust. All right. Give me more, give me more. Milking Milky, hello. Thank you, Dave, for forwarding that message. I didn't get a uh, first time chatter notification though. I think I think that's about enough, huh? Let's connect it back. Bloop. Bloop. And it'll also fill in once this big emptiness right here. So that should be good. Now let me oh, I do not like doing this. This is a bad idea. Hey, Amy! I hope your day gets better. I'm sorry that happened. Oop, oop, let's not do this. And hold, hold. Those pipes are going to be super hot. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, I thought I deconstructed this already. I am going insane. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Remember to check the thermal sensors before the aqua tuners. They're on 25s or 15, which is fine. Polluted water can go to like minus 18 or something.
So far, so good. Let's block one of these. Yeah, it still works. We're good. We're good. Now let's let this do its magic. We'll come back in, I don't know, 30 cycles and see how often the Thermo Aqua Tuners have been running. And that'll sort of give us a small indication of how much better they are in this specific use case. Why don't you use Aqua Tuners directly at the clean water cooling loop? Uh, you're saying like here? Because if, for instance, this is 93 degrees, you'd have to send it through multiple t multiple times where the idea is when with plates and everything, you're cooling everything. So overall, you would use less power than just running the water individually through it. That's the idea. Not always um, effective. Okay, that's done. We have our desaltinator. Let me send this through like this. Boop. Oh, like that. Go all the way down. How am I going to do this? Because that water is going to come in and go out, which is fine. So I can just go like this. The Haunted said, that's wrong. To cool water by a certain amount, you need the same amount of energy no matter how you do it. Let me think about that for a second. I don't think the answer is that simple. I understand what you're saying. And... In, in real science, that may be 100% true, but in Ani science, I do not think it's true. Especially in an example where we have comp where we have other materials going through it. I think that's where the whole issue of thermal conductivity also comes into play. Because remember this water, so here's another example. The water is not only exchanging heat. So in the example of just running it through the thermo aqua tuner, the thermo aqua tuner is reducing its temperature by 14 degrees every time. That's it. There is no other transfer of heat either way. Whereas in this example, that water is also exchanging heat with these metal tiles, which I get it. The aqua tuner is as well. Um, but so is things like the things on the rail. So I think it, because we have so many different materials, so many different materials going through the tiles, I don't think it's as simple as they would be exactly the same. If the temp rises by 14 degrees by the end of the loop, then the conductivity doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, but the... If the conductivity would rises by more than 14, let me read what you said again. If the temp rises by 14 degrees before the end of the loop, then, oh, that's because you're exceeding the maximum um, cooling potential of the aqua tuner. But ideally your design doesn't have it rising by 14 degrees. Is that salt water packet? Is there salt on it? It might be. 19 milligrams? Yep, that could be holding it up. Let me see what it says it is. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on there. Hmm. This is normally where we like a bypass. Where, you, where we like the design where if it's too small, it just bypasses it. That's the one limitation of 
this sort of design where it just stops and goes, especially with the rail. What you kind of like to do is put a timer. So I can add a timer somewhere like right here and just have it go anyways. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do a timer sensor just to block that issue. Right here? Ew, no, right here. Yes. I'm gonna have to break into here the here though. This is gonna be such a mess. How am I gonna get hold on automation? No, it'd probably be better to go from above it because of the water Just in there. Take a look at this. P water tanks in the cooling loop. What about them? Um, I'm thinking. Oh, no, this is fine. This will be fine because it's already there. And I can corner build it. And we'll just leave the tile there. Are you, aren't you? are you still adding pee water? I hope not. Yes. <laughs> but there's no gaps in it, so it's not actually adding any. There's no, There isn't any gaps in this line. So it's not adding any. Um, one, six hundred. Good. Not obsidian. Can we just make bigger salt packets instead? Uh, we already have the timer here. So it's just going to be every once in a blue moon. That's what's going to happen. The last salt packet. What did we put this on? 30 seconds? So basically, we don't want this thing firing. Ooh, wait a minute. So I still like this system because it, not just salt, but, well, let me get the salt out of there. There we go. Because it could be something else that does it as well. But we could improve this system to where it, there's a conveyor meter that it doesn't let it pass unless there's a much. A filter? You're talking about just filtering out some materials? I think this works. It's a little, it's a little janky, but it definitely will work. No matter what's on that tile, just once per cycle, it'll just let it out. Haunted said to compare how much P water performs compared to oil is the uptime is not enough. No, not 100%. It'll just give us a general idea. Um, because the idea, yeah, there might be more materials coming through it. But once we get caught up, right now we're so far behind. I don't know. I think, I think people need to realize that we're not trying to... Uh, we're not trying to have a science -y, I don't even know how to put it. We're not trying to be precise in that, 
No, that's not true because I do like to be precise. I don't know. I'm not trying. Kiri says a good way is I'm not trying to min-max it. I'm not a min-maxer. I've never tried to min-max it. Um, I like efficient designs, but I'm not... I am not all about having that sort of chat argument of which method is 4% better than this method, right? Like, if polluted water is better, we're going to be able to tell that polluted water is better. Now... There is no doubt that polluted water is a better coolant. I'm not arguing that. I've never argued that. My only problem with the polluted water in this case is I worry about a hot flash, specifically if a metal coming in on one tile and it just happens to heat it up long enough. Like let's say um, cobalt sitting at 600 degrees and somehow makes it all the way through here and sits on this one tile. And you know what I mean? That's all I'm worried about. You can look at the numbers and see that pea water is better. But that's like the whole argument of specific heat capacity versus thermal conductivity. On the good way to think about it is yes, the specific heat capacity has the ability to basically hold on to its heat more. So when your thermal aqua tuner is reducing it by a set amount, the 14 degrees is going to do more in something with a higher specific heat capacity than it will with something with a lower specific heat capacity because you'll be able to jam basically more heat into this little blob of stuff. But the thermal conductivity still matters. It still 100% matters because it's dictating how much that heat is being able to come out to cool what you're trying to cool. But it, and like what some people in chat have pointed out, it very much matters on the size of your brick, um, what you're cooling. And that's why I don't try to get into all these sort of uh, onesies and twosies situations because especially in this game, there are so many competing factors. Like it's just, you know, and the game's not perfect. It's the game simulation is not perfect either. Is it an idea to add a fourth tuner to get your catch up faster? Yeah. But I also don't think we're in a hurry. Super coolant would... The super coolant would mess this thing all up. Like, everything would just go straight through it. Whoop, whoop. It would be incredible. Super coolant is the gift that just keeps giving. Milking Milky, welcome back. All right, let's get back to... We extended this cooling loop. Oh, we're extending this cooling loop because we want to be able to cool down the desalinator. Uh, we're gonna go through here, go like this. And then we'll do something like that. Oh, please hurry. Let me finish this. Now this line is gonna come out. right through here. Boop. And it's already got its power. It's got its input and output. We're going to keep it nice and insulated because we have so many insulated material. <laughs> oh, and I just canceled it. Like a silly. Where's this thing going? going to our petroleum boiler eventually. There we go. We'll just have it sit there for now. Haunted says, totally get you. Oil for cooling in an aqua tuna triggers me somehow. Yeah, it triggers me too. It definitely does. I don't like oil. It's like one of the worst coolants that we have available to us. But, uh-oh, what's going on here? Ah, uh, we have a little bit too much. That's weird. Oh, that's the thing. 
it's they're building pipes again. They're building pipes. Magma as coolant. Unfortunately, that wouldn't work either because it would solidify. Ooh, steel. But just for giggles, let's check out the thermal conductivity and specific heat capacity of magma. Boop. <laughs> it's a one in a one. Yuck says I present NAFTA. NAFTA is good when you have temperatures and no oil. When you have um, weird, t uh, when you have limiting temperatures. Mm. But yeah, it's worse. 2.1 and 0.2. It's horrible. But again, it's all dependent. Molten lead. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me get down here. Yeah, I think we can do... Let's do a, uh, a prediction. Oh, 22 minutes ago, somewhere when we were arguing the semantics, I had a pendiculate from Suarez. There it is. Oh. Now the question is, where are we going to do this? What's in here already? Natural gas. We have one here. A cool steam vent. Like, what are you... One, two... And the third one's way over here. Uh, that means we're going to have to do... The oil reservoirs that I do not love. I do not love... I like the system where the oil just drips off the side. Because I always seem to have the steam happening. What do we have in here? Polluted oxygen? I could just fill the whole biome up. I'm out of mafic rock. Yep. <laughs> Predictions up. The queen was gracious enough to put up the prediction. Is it going to be closed? Is it going to be drywall? Or is it going to be something else? Find out next on Echo Ridge Gaming. What is that pink gas on the left? Uh, magma. Right there. It's magma. This is abyssalite. <laughs> I don't know what else you're talking about. I don't know. It's right here. We can let the magic gas out of the magma vial. Actually, I think it is not, um, it is not sour gas. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's phosphorite. Yeah, it's phosphorus gas. <laughs> Side chat. No sour gas for you. All right, let me go destroy this biome. I don't know. All right, what if... If I dropped and made it lower... All right, so we're not going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to try this. I'm going to try a new design. And you know how this goes. You know how this goes, chat. Chat's going to yell at me, say this is not going to work. Then it's not going to work, and then chat's still going to yell at me. And so this is this is where we are, okay? This is where we are. Let's go up in here. Polluted oxygen. We're going to have this made out of, I guess, igneous rock. We have plenty of it down here. Go like this. This is going to be a new design. Dr. Dangerous says new designs are the best designs. Not according to YouTube comments. Okay. 
I know sometimes I get prickly, right? And it's because it doesn't matter what I do. Someone in the comments is going to say, nope, you should have done this. So sometimes I get prickly. So I want the oil to run off and keep everything kind of cool. Be a lot cooler if you did. The queen says engagement is engagement. I love it. That's true. It's true. And I'm not saying I mind the comments. It's just there'll be never a design. Never a design where people are like, wow, that's pretty good. Never. But it's to be expected. It comes with it comes with the life. Kiri says, and why do we care what YouTube comments say? Um, first of all, because not all the people who are making those comments are meaning, are meaning to be ugly, right? A lot of them are not trying to be ugly about it. They are just giving, like I always ask, let me know what you think in the comments below. I always say that um, because like the queen says, engagement is good. But as a, as a human being, um, imagine, imagine an eight-year-old worked in art class. Oh, you're about to be stuck, aren't you, B-dubs? Yeah, you are. An eight-year-old spends all day working in art class, trying to do X, Y, and Z. Actually, it's probably be easier just to do this. And they're so excited to come home and show their mom. Look, mom, look what I made. And mom looks at it and goes, oh, that's great, honey. You did such a good job. Or mom can be like, oh, that's great, honey. Why did you use blue and not purple? You know what I mean? Like, it's... Uh... It's a thing. It's a thing. Alright, so the reason why we end up getting steam is because the water that's coming in and sitting in the oil reservoir flashes. And that happens is because the oil's sitting here, heating up. So we want to make sure it's not heating up. So either A, we just make a big old mess of it. Or B, we lock it in lower. So we have something like, no, not like that. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. And I don't remember if the, not the, oh, we don't even, utility, oil well. Okay, so the oil is coming out that way. Can we flip this? You cannot flip it. So I want the oil to come out of here and go this way. Hopefully that is sort of a thing. Uh, and I do not believe they overheat no matter what you make them out of. So we'll just use some cobalt. <laughs> Pyro Gecko says, I hate ladders. They let you down. <laughs> I'm thinking, chat. I am thinking. And you know what happens when I think. Bad things. Bad things happen. 
Uh, let's go like this, and for that, for now. Yeah, let's do the prediction. We in? Everybody in? Beautiful. Here we go. I'll listen for the sound. Oh, there was no happy sound, which means it's probably something basic. Charcoal diagonal. Charcoal diagonal is definitely a duplicate, unfortunately. Wallpapers, charcoal diagonal. Oh, it is not a duplicate. I thought it was a duplicate. I'll take it. First time chatter, Presto Beagle. Welcome. Oh, drywall people won some big money today. Way to go, drywall people. All right, so that's going to come in here. Then we're going to go down. No, we're going to go down through here. And I'm going to try to pump the oil out. Sooner rather than later. So maybe it's something like this. All right, so the dupe has to be able to get in there and we have to have a pump. Will this work? Nope. Further over. So maybe by making it bigger, we will have solved the ever issue of... So now oil will be able to come all the way down through here and then siphon it out. Oh, wait a minute. Like maybe this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I suppose oh, we got all sorts of trap dupes here. All sorts of trap dupes. Can they get out? Yes. You will can get out. Okay. Hmm. I'm looking. I don't like it. But it does give us a little bit more capacity. Because if I went any higher, then the oil... You know, it's too ugly. Too ugly! Too ugly. Getting rid of it. Let's try... I'm not sure where we... Maybe here. That's a little bit better. But the key is, I have to get the oil out of here. If I don't pump the oil up and the oil comes beyond this level, then it sits here and then that's how we get steam. Mesh tiles below and collection tank. So you're saying a bigger collection tank? I kind of like the idea of a bigger collection tank. What do you mean? You can get home from here. Oh, no, you can't because something happened here. Hold on. How much air do you have? Nope, if you don't drown that thing in oil, you will get steam. That's not true. So the reason why you get steam is... So if you use the oil as its coolant, 
It will not, it will not get hot enough for steam. Don't go to sleep. They're coming. Where you get steam typically is in the old design, which is a lot smaller. Uh, you can get home now. Why can't you get there? What am I missing? Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> so what happens with the old design, the old design basically filled it like something like this, right? And we just kept it filled. Something like this, right? And we siphoned out the carbon or the natural gas and it works. But because the oil would slowly start to stack up, you'd get um, you'd get steam because the oil is just sitting there and slowly getting hotter and hotter. So the water going into the oil well will eventually turn to steam. Why won't you turn? Grumpy's coming. Don't worry, Grumpy's coming someday. There you go. All right, so let's go. I like the idea of a bigger. I kind of like the idea of a bigger one. So I'm going to drop it in through here. Something like this. I don't know. Uh, let's go down through here. It looks prettier. How many dupes are going to get trapped now? Can you use a sensor to stop the com water coming in? Yes. But you still want to have a little bit of backup of the oil. So that's why I'm, I kind of like the idea of having the tank. There is one right there. Enable and disable. Let's get all this out of here. Yes. Uh, we also need some oil here, please. Is there an option to put how many echoes or how many dupes get trapped? <laughs> many? Is many an answer? All right, now liquid. Oil. I'll even enable auto bottle. And now let's bring our water in. We can go right through here and down. Doo -doo -doo. And I suppose it makes sense to have ladders on this side as well. Maybe we'll do that soon as two. At least we've managed to trap all this junk, which I can do this. Ventilation, you're the one. You make bath time. So much fun! Oh, I'm gonna need power down there too. Power! Oh, another hot spot. This is cobalt. Oh, that was the laid uh, conductive joint plate. I'm gonna keep doing it. Keep doing it. I need more mafic rock, though. Would you still get steam even with the insulated pipes like obsidian and ceramic? I've never done that kind of design before. Um, I've gotten steam in a lot of them. And it's, it's normally... It's the water that's sitting in the oil well. It's not the water sitting in the pipes. Why haven't they built this?
for some reason, it's like they can't get there. Are we out of lead? No, 58 tons. I was trying to find Beagle's message. Someone replied, there it is. Why would it get to 100C anyways? Doesn't the oil regulate the temps by coming out at 90C, stopping the water from boiling? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I have done a lot of research on it, or as far as troubleshooting, and just it's, it's a thing. Sometimes you get lead. Oh, you get steam. All right, so this is going to come out and go right into here. But eventually, it's going to come out and go, Wee! Uh, can I go in here, please? Yes, I can. Because you're not the boss of me. Some natural gas. Why haven't they built this? There we go. That was a weird one. Did it melt on delivery? It may have. What's 248? No. We're getting more temperature shift plates, so the temperature is getting more regulated. Which is sort of the idea. I don't want to have to redo all this. What a pain. What are we going to use? We're up to 125 tons of igneous. Let's just use igneous. Now we're going to run out of igneous. Whoop. There we go. We're making progress, chat. I don't feel like we've done a whole lot so far. But we have obviously have. Maybe it's because we've been fixing some old problems and that sort of thing, too. Nope, you're not building those. I saw someone trying to go in there and build them. Alright. Igneous rock sitting down here. <laughs> Top of the dirty sauna. Ooh, icky. What is all... What happened here? Welcome to the ASMR stream. Ani style. That sounds like Gundam style, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go. Ish. Snacky says, yay, Echo Stream to cure my sickness. We've had a lot of, we've had several folks that are under the weather today. 
Ooh, a pandiculate by smoked beers. Thank you. This is gonna have to be a standing pandiculate. Oh. I appreciate you. I haven't stood in a minute. And a drink by smoked beers too. Cheers to you. I hope you get to feeling better, Snacky. All right, now can I put lead in here? Bloop. There we go. All right, do we have water? Oh, we have water coming in. Yes. Need some power. More lead. I'm going to drive people nuts with my lead usage. Hopefully this will be fine. There's one. Let's see, 240, 480 times three. Yeah, we can get all three of them on one. I don't know how you don't have to pee in four hours and drinking. You know, it starts off with the fact that, you know, I'm a professional, right? Pro streamer. <laughs> mm, digging, supplying, tidying. Oh, Marie. Marie, you're saucy. Digging, supplying, tidying, and the only bad thing is they're gastrophobic? I think we're taking this, Marie, which means it's time to get your raffles in. Is it a diaper? You'll never know. Uh, digging, building, supply. Yeah, you can do all the things right there. Look at Marie. We'll start you off a little bit of hard digging. Boom. Do I have a dupe on this colony? I don't remember which one it was. Let's do the roster. We have Dark Wizard. We have Haunted. Zetalina. Wait, I'm sexy. Quaffed. Quoka. Bergetta. FRD Dot. B Dubs. Chippy. Muted. Rap Call. Geeky. Kiri. 05. Absolute Dina. Adore. Dumpkin Pie. Grumpy. Conus. Newbie. Cuddle Pip. Mini Soul. Jari. Shadow Pie. Live. Erg Staff in Mods. Ringstraw. Miss Amanda. Sorry. DWU Rep. Saf. And Marie. All right, here we go. Uh, let's check on this, as a matter of fact. Down to 30 degrees. Yeah, you can, you can already tell. Look at the throughput on our water, how better improved it is. And the highest the polluted water is getting is 50 over here. Now, see, the sauna is getting a little warmer. It's 137. So this tile right here, as long as it stays cool quick, which it should, I think it was a good change. I think it was a good change. I, I'm two thumbs up on the polluted water. I was probably a little bit too nervous about the polluted water flashing. Kirio 5 with a luxury dupe. Is that what I'm hearing? From kind of Nubis. Luxury dupe upgrade. I would have missed it too. Thank you, kind of Nubis. Let's go to Kirio 5. Kiri, Kiri, Kiri. Whoop. Whoop. Thank you, Kiri. Let's get you settled. We got some temporary accommodations right now. You're gonna go, you're gonna room with Jari for now.
I think we're soon at the starting to expand into major um, getting the luxury apartments going. Are there any unnamed volcanoes? I am not 100% sure. I know that we have, I'm actually going to refund Absolute because they wanted to refund a gold vent or they wanted to name a gold vent Puzzlina, but we can't because I don't have a gold vent. We got 17 in the dupe raffle. Remember, you can put in more than one raffle as well. Oh, look at all these temperature shift plates. Yes. Now we should see a lot more stable temps. Oh! Oh no! Oh! No! I don't like it when chat gets their way. What was in Stop. here? Where did plastic come from? <gasps> the temperature shift plates were being made out of plastic? Who did that? Did I see the new cot bed unlock from Clay on their website? It was Christmas themed? I have not, Jared. Oh. What? I, you saw me making them out of igneous rock. Just take a look at this. Monkey91 man says, in case you minute, missed it, there's sour gas. I did not make any out of plastic. Do you know what a pain in the tuchus this is going to be? This one's made out of plastic. This one's made out of obsidian. How many more are made out of plastic? I don't think I can see plastic on the... Uh... I, I don't know. Chat, I just, I don't, I'm dumbfounded right now. I can't even. Sleepy Cappy Bars. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. With the Twitch Prime, I appreciate you. Monkey 91, man, in with 100 cheering sour gas biddies tactical crayon with 100 biddies says you made plastic temperature shift plate sir <laughs> i don't know how i have no idea how this happened i am not checking them one by one <laughs> Why did this happen? I, you saw me clicking. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Pyro Gecko with 50 bits says, in case you missed it, you have steam in your sour gas boiler. <laughs> no. And there's so much of it. Yeah? Yeah? You wanna try me? You wanna try me? I will win. I will win every time. You will not best me, Sour Gas. It's a common echo fail, says Monkey91 Man. No, you're a common fail. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, chat. I don't, I don't. I too like power. Naz with some high pink gas biddies. 
Tactical Grand with another 100 bitties of sour gas. In with the win. This is not a yay situation. Chat's losing their mind right now. Like, yay! No, this is bad. Yay! Oh, I mean, at least it's a hype train. <laughs> Trap dupes? What else could go wrong? Yay! Oh, this is too much. I can't keep... Chat, you gotta slow down. Delahano of Light with 100 bits. Naz with some pie bitties. Kind of Numis with 100 bitties. Metalsick with 100 bits with a care package. All right, let me do the dupe raffle. Somebody hit me an exclamation roll 21 so I can see my redemptions. Jarifa in with 100 bitties. And they rolled a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is thrown them up. Thrown them up. Make sure I'm spelling it right. There we go. Thank you, everyone. Now, let me get rid of this. Nim, I'm refunding you because you came in a little bit late. Now I can go to all the requests and actually see what's going on. Kansas City Shovel says, this one is clay. When you run out of materials during mass production, sometimes automatically switches the materials. But we didn't. Those are being filled in with uh, igneous rock, which we still had plenty of. Yay! Right? Dex with 100 salty bitties, which says boo, sour gas. Draco Dragon 88 with 100 bitties. Thank you. Ski Daddy, 1971, with 100 bitties. So this is all I have to do? Is make sour gas every time? That's it? Well, I can do that. Timer. Now all I need is two timers and a microphone, and I'm about to take care of this problem for real. Bloop, bloop. Two timers, two timers. One's on one. These are on these. Actually, we figured out a better way to do this, didn't we? Last time. It is... Okay, so I need this one to shut first, and then these to shut. So... And then their opening doesn't really matter. So it's going to go like this. A buffer gate... Not an iron buffer gate. Why would I want an iron buffer gate? Everybody knows lead is better. There we go. I did not unlock the sour gas. Maybe it has something to do with using the blueprint mod. I mean, I don't know. But I know I did not select uh, plastic. I'm daft, but I'm not that daft. Or deft. Is it deft or daft? I think both apply. I didn't even boil oil, King Konas. This is plastic sour gas. Oh, and it's already hot enough here to melt the lead. <laughs> It's 328. I give up. I give up. I hope uh, everybody had a good stream today. Uh, I'll be back sometime in the next three years. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Jarifa said they're going to watch the VOD tomorrow and try to figure out why. Thank you, everyone, for the biddies. I really appreciate them. Which sauna would you like to be named there, turtle? Time to scrap it and start over. Flutterdass says, the, the fact that you're putting lead in the same as um, volcanoes 
I am not going to put lead anywhere around the volcanoes, though. Like, this one's questionable. This one might melt. Uh, one of these might melt. Depends. But the temperature shift plates and all the steam are supposed to take care of it for us. And now I need an AND gate. AND gate. Because this is going to do it like this. No, nope, let's go up higher. Nope, I can't. So we'll go like this. And I will get rid of those two. And we will have gas element sensor down here. Oh, no, I don't even have to. There we go. Whoop. So this is going to go up like this. This one's going to go over. And, oh, this is going to have to be a not gate, right? Because it needs to be not steam. I guess I could put it up here. Hold on. Let me continue to overcomplicate this process as much as possible because that's what I do. Drac Thumb 373 with 100 bits. See how supportive chat can be when you get to sour gas? I know. Oh no, what did we do? What? Oh, it's magma! Oh, well, that's good. That, this is all going good. <laughs> Oh, you're telling me there's not enough? It's supposed to condense. I told you, I'm going to win. I am going to win. Oh, don't get trapped. And let's go like this. You are not the boss of me. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Swore says this. He death. He death. He death. Chat, it's going to be fine. Okay? It's going to be fine once I take my head out of my butt. Oh, look. It's molten lead. Do do do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All the automation got melted. <laughs> All right, I need an AND gate. Okay, I need an AND gate like right here. I need a gas element sensor, say, right here. And a NOT gate. I guess the NOT gate can go up like this. Actually, no, I can go, yeah, we'll just do the NOT gate up here. And then I will need the timer sensor. Oh my gosh, something just melted immediately. <laughs> I'm going insane. Cuddle Pip is stuck. Where? Cuddle Pip, up, up, up. How are you stuck? Oh, Cuddle Pip, you're gonna die. I know it's sad. But you'll be on vacation. Everybody loves vacation. <laughs> oh. No, Cuddle Pip, you're supposed to go home now. Can we go home? Just in case? Just in case. You're still stuck. Oh, because this is not built yet. Why are you building this instead of that? There's a dupe. A dupe's in trouble. A dupe is gonna die. There they go. What is all this nastiness? Can we get this fixed, please? I don't want that out of gold. 
There we go. Almost there to fixing the sour gas. Oopsie. Okay. We're gonna get there. Alright, now that one's gonna go in there. And there's gonna be a buffer gate, and it's gonna finish them off. I don't even need those. Yes, I do, because that's a door. Automation. Buffer gate. Buffer, buffer, buffer. There we go. Still need to do redeem for the unnamed volcano, says Jerifa. Which? Oh, this one? Volcano and... Oh, they're both unnamed. Turtle says, my geyser is too hot. Or my sauna is too hot. All right. Sauna is too... Small? Oh, it's not... This is not too small. This is by Turtle. It's too full. Lead automation? I thought I didn't do lead. Oh, I did lead automation again. Which it's not going to matter now because I stopped the volcanoes from coming up here. Or dripping down there. There we go. As long as it is not steam, you are free to do whatever you want. This has got to be the picture, right? It's almost a heart, chat. It's almost a heart. How brilliant is that? <laughs> I will try to make it happen. I'll try to make it happen, but I'm not a good artist. So I don't know if I can draw a heart in GIMP. I will try to draw a heart in GIMP. Alright, why aren't you done? Why isn't this done? Yes, please. Do let me use copper a little bit, or cobalt a little further away. See, this one did fine. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. What's that meme? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be May. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it like that. Maybe we'll fill that in. I fill it in or I just block that off. Which one do I do? I'll fill it in. Bezelbub says, looks like I missed a lot today. Your materials of the tiles of the gas crusher. This one, igneous rock. And then we have, uh, that's okay. <laughs> we have another geyser. Um, Pyro Gecko, you got beaten, unfortunately, by Flutter Dash. You got in, in just before you did. This second one is... So I refunded you? This one is funny. Stare Drac. Devour... I don't know if it's going to fit. Devour of lead. Oh, it's so close. We'll put... D V R E R Devour of Lead. <laughs> lead Eater? Okay, we try that one. Just take a look Here at it is. this. Something wrong with the automation wires? Yeah, what is going on with it? Oh, uh, I bet you it's one of those things where they just stopped getting the errand. Cobalt into here, then goes up, then goes down and over. You know how sometimes they get the air and then they just drop it? Yeah, there's a lot of things going on wrong right now. We've kind of... Uh, we broke the matrix. Mike Helm, first time chatter, said it's the best steam ever. I thought so. 
Chat agrees. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Uh, one reason I can tell you, you need to just stay open. Oh yeah, get stuck. I don't care. Finish the stuff. Finish it! Alright, shuts. Then shuts. Then they all open. Perfect. Shuts. Then shuts. Yes! Goodbye, sour gas! You are not the boss of me! Oh yeah, that's hot. How much sour gas are we destroying at a time? Look at this. 20 kilos per tile. What is the gray like gas in the sauna? Uh, this here? Sour gas. But we did it on purpose for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh. So much heat being deleted. Yeah, but I gotta get rid of the sour gas. Can we please? I bet you they canceled this too. I want them to shut fist faster. Oh, well, this is one problem. Now we should get it. Errands. Now they lost it. Okay, we're just gonna... What is it? Green? Red is closed. Green is open. Okay. I can fix that. Get all the stuff out of here. I don't care. I don't care how hot it is. Why is there a wart seat in here? <laughs> Get it all out. Zoldan posted a clip to Discord. Of course you did, buddy. Of course you did. <laughs> oh, that's why so many people came jumping in. That's why. Why are you just standing here? What is going on? Did we 10x break it? Is that what's happening here? Oh, something's weird. Dear Clay, please send help. <laughs> please send help. <laughs> oh. oh, man. That's funny. There's a hole in the vacuum. Boop. Did you know you've got some sour chaos in your steam room, says Dolph? Now are you gonna leave? Oh, they're still not moving. Oh. Okay, this is odd. Let's start over. Let's try that again. I've never, I well, I've seen some weird bugs. I don't think I've ever seen one like that, where they just keep picking things up and standing there. The sour gas is fighting back. Someone said check the power to the transit tubes, but even if the transit tubes don't have power, they can still climb the ladders. Unless they get the the errand to go to the transit tube, but then they lose it because of power, so they drop the item. And then they pick up another item when it comes online. Nope, just needed a rest. Oh my goodness. Go home! Geeky? Geeky? Um, 
There's another one. Not enough drop-off points? I don't know. I don't know. How's this thing doing down here? Oh, it's a vacuum. This is great news. Look at this. Already steam. Already we have steam. Probably because we're sitting in a vacuum. For the love of... Whatever. Alright, if it is above... 500, you can open it up. What's in here? Natural gas, carbon dioxide. Yep, just destroy it. Try filling it with sour gas. Yep, I got steam. In this case, it's probably because there was no atmosphere in here. Next time, we'll leave at least 500 kilo. Well, now there's going to be a lot of natural gas in there. Pyroy, Pyroy, why does no one listen to you? Can I mop any of this up? No. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, now, can we get this swept, please? This is all I need swept. No, nope, that was too high. There we go. Too high. Lady, hello. All right, good. Now I can sweep this. Get that mopped. So we can start with a fresh. See, this is the water that ends up turning into steam right here. Choo -choo. See how it's raising in temp right now? Boom, steam. Uh, it needed a little bit more oil. More oil. This is why I like the open air ones where it just sort of dribbles off. The one tile of oil we've done. I've done this before. I've done it a hundred times. This will still give you. This will still give you um, oil. Or steam. Because this oil will end up heating up. Lady says, hi Echo, hope you're having a good day. What did a giant frost call go out? Did everybody, did somebody ring the bat signal? Echo made sour gas, go, go, go. This is not a drill. <laughs> oh. All right, we're just going to stop this nonsense. I'm going to come back and revisit this later. I'm, I'm going to do it the way I like to do it. And that's with filling this whole cavity with natural gas. It was the sour gas symbol. All right, let's go 30, 200. Oops. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Die, Sour Gas! Die! Let's watch Sour Gas die in high speed. Why aren't you updating? Why are you closed? Red duration. No, I'm doing this wrong. Uh, 10 seconds. There we go. 
Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at how much anger and authority it comes down with, too. Bam! Bam! This is what we do to sour gas. There will always be sour gas in the sauna. No one tell him why. No, there won't. There will not. We're gonna get all this stuff up. It's gonna be okay. Ugh. It's gonna be fine, okay? All right, if it's above 500, you can start pumping. This has got a lot of steam to get rid of. We'll have to de deconstruct this and make a lot of water. Like, this is such a train wreck. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I'm taking my toys and I'm going home. Oh. Oh, there is some right here. We'll get rid of it real quick, too. What about up here? None in here. Die, sour gas! Die! Uh-huh. No, you need to go this way. Go this way. Go this way! Look, chat, where's your sour gas? Huh? Chat has no sour gas? <laughs> this should actually have a filter and a knot gate. I would prefer this had to filter and a knot. So I will do a filter gate, right? Where can I fit this? because we don't want it to just instantly detect it. We want it to make sure that it's sitting there for a little while. So like this. Boop. Echo's making a very complication automation just to crush it. Well, it's because this is gonna be used for our dirty brick too. This is also the system that we'll use to destroy excess uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, we're not another not gate. Come on. Apparently, I've reached critical mass. I have reached critical mass. Don't You can make the AND gate on the same level as the doors to make it prettier. Yeah, I could. I'm gonna do that right now. Have a good one, Pumpkin. I appreciate you coming by. Happy heart day to you as well. All right, so this is gonna go right. Oh, this is so ugly still. I don't care if you're scalding. I do not care. Let's go up and then down. I suppose like this. I guess. I, I guess. You created a yes gate. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. No bully. Did you miss all the sour gas creation? We didn't have any sour gas. Clearly. Uh-oh. Something's not connected. All right. This is going in and air. This is going out. Oh, it's because this is all steam now. That's why. But don't worry. More sour gas is coming. 
Who is starving? What is going on in this colony? 400,000 calories. Long commutes, allergic reactions. Building's broken. Yeah, we know the building's broken. Gotta get all the steam out of there. I don't care. I love it. Just gotta get this sour gas to float down there. And then we'll be in there like swimwear. Wee! And this is fine still too. Like it looks ridiculous, but it works. The Sweetle has its own sauna. Where's the Sweetle? Oh, right up here. Oh no, here we go. This has to be above zero, because I need to siphon up all the steam. Azinity says, hi Echo. I just spent the whole day with my Valentines and now I got home at midnight. Hope the stream's been well. It's been great. We, uh, we celebrated Happy Heart Day with a little bit of sour gas. <laughs> Oh, yep. That's what we do. And here, and here, and here. Get all this stuff out of my sauna. I don't want it. When will the upper volcano erupt next? 7.5 cycles. Why? What are you, what are you planning? I'm a little hesitant. Oh, no, we're out of granite. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Is there any granite around here? <sighs> um, plenty of igneous rock. All right, let's feed them something else. What do we have? He wants to see the lead melt? It might. 70 tons of sedimentary rock. Um, I'm just going to feed one ranch. Just in case. Like, I don't want all of our hatches to go to uh, uh, extinct. So I'm going to make sure one of them at least is being fed. I guess we, we can do all of them. It'll be fine. Because I realize I'm relying on that for food. Sketchy Gamer. First time chatter. Welcome. Appreciate you coming by. Everything's been completely normal this stream. We'll take some food. No, we'll take some Joya. Uh, we had to build the door crusher anyways. What can I say except you're welcome? Um, so it's not a big deal. We actually created the, the sour gas on purpose. Uh, for reasons. Uh-huh. There may have been small amounts of chaos. Did I miss it or do you still not name my dupe? No, I thought we named you dupe. Where are you, Fronima? There you are. Diggy, diggy, Fronima. Three hour of Fluga. Ugh. You're actually at three hours and four minutes. Slicky. Thank you for that pendiculate sleeping turtle. And cheers to you. Ooh, you get a new, you get a new um, Perrier. I wonder if Sleeping Turtle is related to El Turtle. Cheers to you.
sketchy gamer with the follow as well. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So far, so good. Oh, this is such a mess. What do I just filter it all out? How much pressure? There's only two kilos, so I could filter it all out until there's nothing but... Oh, my sweet glory! Where did this sour gas come from? I'm not looking. I am not looking. Chat, you're grounded. I will turn this stream right around. There was nothing hot enough in here. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be awesome. I've never wanted to use cheaty doors more in my life. Can you explain the sour gas bowler design? <laughs> Says Pyro Gecko. Uh, I don't, I can't even think. I can't even think. Like, I don't even know what is going on in my life right now. I'm gonna have to stop this. Uh, we're just gonna end up putting some hydrogen in here. So that'll be fine. Seed Answer says, just wanted to say thank you for the stream. Stayed home because of sick and your videos make my day. Thank you very much, Seed Answer. Those are the type of comments that we love. Because it makes me happy. All right, what's going on here? There's just a lot of mess. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh, no one's in danger. Okay, Captain Morgan. Um, I see that you also got the bat signal. I just got to figure out what I want to do with this. I am so tired of this. These sort of designs, they always make steam. I'll try the one tile again. I know I've tried it before in my life. I will try. What is broken now? What did natural gas flash? No, there must have been steam in there that turned into water. And... What am I going to do then with it? Then I'm just going to have to take that natural gas and we're going to go in here to a natural gas thing. We are out of raw minerals. Where are all the raw minerals on this planetoid? Uh, we can go something like this. I don't know. This can go... Ooh. Don't you have volcanoes? Yes, we have volcanoes. Do I see pink by the oil wells? Yes, for some reason, somehow, over here, a bunch of sour gas happened. I think this was naturally, naturally occurring sour gas. I don't think this was me. Nothing was hot enough over here. And you can see none of the lead melted. And I will rebuild this just because uh, I'm tired of seeing the error message. That was old sour gas, says Haunted. All right, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Please tell me you're not mopping up oil. Second, first, same as the first. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. 
Could the oil have flashed to Petro and then did a pretty pink gas? Yes, it could have, but nothing was hot enough in the area to do it. It takes like 492 degrees. Where is... Well, to go from petroleum to sour gas takes 538. Okay, there's no more water in here. Scoop out all the water, please. We'll get this connected again. Brilliant. Hmm. Did the Duke take something very hot and run through the area? Maybe. That could have been. That's probably more likely. Maybe they grabbed some hot igneous rock and ran it through a small little thing of crude oil. That could have happened. For sure. All right, chat. Do we want to do the petroleum boiler for the hundredth time? Or do you want to do some... We know we're eventually going to sour gas boiler. So petroleum boiler sort of makes sense. But it will take a same, it'll take a minute because we got to figure out where to go in at. So I'm actually going to put an automation on this. Automation, hydro sensor, do not go above here. This is fine. I vote for something overly complicated. I mean, it's a good thing you're here then because I excel in the overly complicated. Nuclear cooled sour gas. Haunted, haunted with the shade. Haunted says, I would have said plastic sour gas boiler, but you have already done that. Touche. Touche. We are gonna do a plastic sour gas boiler. Eventually. Beautiful. Disabled by automation. Oh yeah, because you just got the line. All right, so there's one. One down. Now, where is the petroleum boiler going to go? Is the question. This is not a bad, a bad area. It would be a pain in the tuchus to build into it. And it would superheat this whole area until I got it finished. But, I mean, we've already had a little bit of chaos. So, thumbs up, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. What do we have for materials? Oh, I don't even have glass tiles. What have I been doing with my life? We haven't even gone to space yet. We're just... We're just, you know, just popping around. EMAP says, oh God. <laughs> Is that Riaz Lays? Welcome. Appreciate the follow. Definitely got to vacuum the working area. Nah, this is carbon dioxide. We'll do it quick. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to... It's going to be May. <laughs> I just need to get the... Uh, the stuff going. What's our temp in here? 165. Liquid naphtha? Mm. Let's move that out. <laughs> this stuff is fine. Uh, you can go away. Oh, there's another wart seed. Oh, did this end up being a room? Yes, a nice little power plant. All right, we have hydrogen gas, five kilos. Is it all hydrogen? Of course it's not. And we have some lead. 
That's wonderful. How did we get lead in there? Remember I told you, remember when I said, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I can open this. I can open this. The whole idea, but these were 170, it must have vacuumed out and then the hydrogen hit it real quick. We must have already had vacuumed it out. gonna be okay. Hydrogen should stay in there. There you go. And now we'll... Hold on. There we go. Which chat shit said shouldn't be led. It was going to be fine, but I squirreled myself. If I would have caught it when it was a vacuum... It still wouldn't have mattered because the hydrogen would have came out. I just got to keep pumping. We got to pump up the jams. Jamorian? Uh, a table of 54 for a Jamorian, please. What's going on? What have you been playing? And please tell me you've been doing better than I have. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's been full of chaos today. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Dino SC2, first time chatter, welcome. Wild Kane, first time chatter with a chill raid. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, this is all chaos here. Um, it's been bad. It's been kind of bad. We've been making lots of messes. We even have some sour gas down here. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Thank you again to Jamorian for the huge raid. Appreciate it. Jamorian says, I just watched your, your last stream VOD over on YouTube yesterday, so yeah, I saw the lead up to the chaos. <laughs> Welcome in everybody. We excel at chaos here. Uh we play a lot of auction not included and some simulation and strategy games. We have a free play Friday where we do not play auction not included, so. Um, yeah, welcome in, everybody. We hope you enjoy your stay. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, was it Minecraft today? What was it? Been doing some stationeers. Danger, Will Robinson. It's like Danger. Ani. You're on your own. You can't blame the dupes. Oh, I blame the dupes all the time. All the time. Oh, you're saying there are no dupes. It's only you. I'd still figure out somebody. Oh. Oh, you're supposed to blame chat. What? Do you not blame chat? You're supposed to blame chat. And then somebody rips out the innocent command. Oh, this is going to take so long. I, look at this mess. Keep mopping. Mop, mop, mop. All day long. <laughs> boom, boom. Well, I appreciate it again, Jamorian. I know we got off the shout out in the channel, so please consider giving Jamorian a follow. All right, this is going okay. Still 17 kilos of that steam. Hopefully we don't mess this up again. Well, we got cobalt lead in there now, or cobalt wine, so it should be okay. Solshinary. Solshinary. I also butcher names. I am one of those streamers. So welcome. If you like having your uh, your name butchered, we're actually in a colony that we planned on. Uh, what, what what was our plan here? Oh, big huge designs. We're going up to about fifty dupes today, or not today, but in this colony. Where is my natural gas generators? Oh, we're, why are we running low on steel? Something tells me I'm about not to be happy. Let's see if I can squeeze them over here. Uh, I'm going to want to get these into a, a sauna, aren't I? So let me do them like this. The drops will come down here, so we'll do... Let me move that over. 
What cluster is this? Also, I am in the middle of watching your folia run. Good stuff. Well, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. That one's going a little chaos because, uh... Oh, no, that's the... The folia, no, the folia one is the farm run, right? We're having some slight complications. Uh, this has to be one bigger. Actually, let's make it two bigger. Because I can put the bat tree over here. I can save this for a wonderful fire pole. There we go. And uh, this is gotten overcomplicated again. How do I do this? First time chatter, the male volunt P says, I'm watching the full year run too. I appreciate it. All right, we're gonna go up through here with a heavy watt conductive joint plate made out of, yes, you guessed it, lead. Because I do not learn lessons. I know I made these out of steel. We must have ran out of steel. Chat, <laughs> this has been too much today. I don't know what's going on. I do not know. Steel, steel. Nope, that's not right. This is right. Think. All right, we're getting there. Oh, notice, by the way, we didn't select any metals in here, and they're still pumping up these hydrogen generators. It's because we have another power control station somewhere, but that's not how we want to do, uh, because they're having to bring the microchips from all the way up over here in this sauna. Who knows, yo? Good to see you. <laughs> I made pink gas for Valentine's. All right, now we're starting to get the mix, which really stinks because I need to get rid of all that steam. Let me, let me keep an eye on it, ready? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I will not let steam in there. There we go. Now we got a little bit of little hydrogen. What is this set on, by the way? 9060? Okay. Why aren't you going? Oh, right there. I need this thing to stop erupting so much so I can get rid of all the steam. Is there an upper limit for steam temperature? No, it'll just keep getting hotter and hotter. Uh, do I want to double door this? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. D using a pneumatic door only requires 100 pieces of steel. Using these requires 200 kilos of a metal ore. So depending on your steel production, which by the way, we gotta go check out because for some reason I'm not making any steel. We're missing lime? Oh, well, let's start turning all that fossil through then, huh? Where are my eggshells? I guess these were, they were been unhappy since they haven't been eating. I guess. <laughs> Salsonary says, I guess max safe float might be the upper limit, but I don't think you're likely to reach that in game. <laughs> Use a gas filter. 
Um. Yeah, I was ch I was kind of being lazy. It's what we do. But yeah, that's the better idea. And then we'll just remove the gas filter later. And we'll just put some power in there. And then we'll send all the hydrogen down. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It is a temporary build. Like, oh, wait. That looks awfully... Oh, it's steamy. Oh, there's so little steam, and it's going to erupt. Quick. Get all the steam, quick. Oh, no, no, no. I messed up, didn't I? Oh, I'm messing up. <sighs> Seven seconds. Vacuum it out. Okay, now I can stop. <laughs> The Wavelink virus is spreading to other streamers? Oh, that stinks. Is it the pink streamer? Oh, that stinks. And there's only one way to fix it permanently. Right now, the only, way, only thing that they can do is completely restart. It's not really a virus. It's what's what um, chat's calling it. It is uh, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Basically, something in the system settings get all wonky. And so the... Oh my gosh, I built something else out of copper ore. So basically, you got to reinstall the whole thing. But in order to do that, you can't just... You have to uninstall, delete, or move the folder... And then reinstall and then reset up your entire wavelength. And, um... Don't! I can tell you that that is not going to make Pumpkin a very happy streamer. Was Are you sure it was the wavelength? Or was it, um, like something... Could it have been something like muted? Alright, now look at this. There we go. We still have a little bit of steam in there, so it's going to have to wait. We still have this set on zero, which is by design. Yeah, if she tried restarting everything and it didn't help, that's not... That is not the wavelength. Because a fresh restart normally fixes it. Um, it could be something like an XLR cable. Because it all started happening after the Wavelink update. Yeah, I didn't I didn't update this time. I was like, nope! You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna need a nice tank for this, aren't I? Does this look like a nice spot for a bright yellow? I think it's yellow tank. Fun fact, did you know that Caesar salads are supposed to come with anchovies in their purest form? Oh, copper ore again, because I'm not thinking. Because Echo doesn't think. It's also in the dressing, but a traditional, like if you go to fancier restaurants... They have anchovies on the salad. Mm. Solcinary says in the UK they also have them. I know that they're in a lot of the dressings. I only discovered this a couple years ago when I was at a nicer restaurant and I ordered a Caesar salad. And woe be to me in the fact that, yep. It sure enough it had uh, anchovies on it. I was like, oh, I didn't I didn't want anchovies. And everybody started giggling. Did I say something funny? Am I a clown? <laughs> oh, you you troglodyte of society. Uh 
Caesar salads have anchovies. <laughs> Boop. Who knows Yo's a fan of the anchovies? Dulcinary says, makes me sad because I'm vegetarian and the alternatives don't taste quite as quite as nice. I did, is there a a seafoody sort of alternative for vegetarians? Like I know they now make the it's like the what do they call it? The impossible burger? Can they make impossible fish? Salsonary says seafood is the weakness in processed alternatives. I'm sure it'll get there one day. All right, so, so far, look at us. Look at us. Notice that this is kind of trying to do a good job of not only taking the heat out of the hydrogen, but keeping the gas pump cool. No power? What do you mean, no power? What did I do? <laughs> it melted again. <laughs> okay, I'm done using lead. All right, I'm done using lead. I thought it was far enough, far enough away. It clearly was not. You notice that the lead-based wires aren't melting, though. The volcano is blocked. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about that later, too. I'll probably add a... You know what I'm talking about. The v -v -v -v. Third time's the charm? What, are you new here? <laughs> Yay! Oh. Here we go. Power's back online. <laughs> Third time? More like eight times. <laughs> oh, man. All right, now we've also got some hydrogen storage. And that way, this shouldn't get as um, backed up as often. And look at these. All pumping at 1,200 watts. Mm. All right, let's go check on some status of some other systems. This is doing decent. We're still up to... We're down to 70 kilos. 70 kilos of gas pressure is not bad considering we're up over 110 or something. So we're still driving the water out. This is good. This is good. And we still have a backlog of cobalt and everything else. So, okay. Yeah, we're now we're running at 100%. It's going to be a while until we get caught up. These aqua tuners are just always going to run. I think um, Impossible Whopper Juniors. Don't they make Impossible Whopper Juniors? Or is it only Impossible Whoppers? Which would be a shame because um, personally, I like the Whopper Junior better than I like the Whopper. Whopper Juniors, they fit better in the hand. Uh-huh. We're going to need a debris chiller here. The question is, where do we put it? <laughs> Colonel Sanders says, Whopper in the hand is worth two on the menu. <laughs> uh, where do we put the debris chiller? This seems to be like a nice idea. Because then I could cool the hydrogen as well because it doesn't really make sense to cool the hydrogen consider i'm just going to pump it right over anyways but i will need some cooling for the, the the tank and everything and then i can slide everything in here right through this opening yeah this is going to be the way this is going to be the way big old debris chiller
Can we? Can I get rid of that, please? Will you deconstruct that corner-wise? Why is there an oxygen warning? Oh, there's always an oxygen warning. I'm sure everything's okay. Other than the fact that all the suits are running out. Now I'm a little nervous to look. Oh, because we're getting hydrogen backed up. Why is hydrogen backing up? Because I built through the tile. Scalding? Why are you scalding? What's been going on while I was at the store? This is unacceptable. How's this one doing? This one's doing gravy. Okay. Do this now. This is the next stop. No, it's probably not real because uh, we still have plenty of oxygen coming out of here. And you can see, like, we have plenty. So it is a warning, but... Thank you, Liv. Appreciate you. Boom, there we go. Now it'll start burning it faster. There it goes. So we should see more... Where's the O2? Okay. Something's amiss. You're getting water. Oh, it's still catching up on the hydrogen, so it was getting max pressure. Still don't like this. Okay, now it's on the left side. It's still getting max pressure. Okay, we're fine. It's just gonna take a little while for the hydrogen to catch up, and then we'll get. We should get three full lines of of oxygen. Okay. Do I even want to go back down to this disaster zone? I don't know. Pop. 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 Power! Little battery action. Yes. Uh, and we can make these out of lead since they do not overheat. Look at us. Pro! Wait, dupes can't breathe sour gas? Oh, they can. It's, it's, their bodies aren't going to process it and they'll suffocate and go on vacation. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. And now we can go up through here and just right across. In, in, in. And then we need a place to put the carbon dioxide. Because this is going to have too much... So, oh my gosh, I got to send another insulated pipe up here. Chat, we can't afford this. We have 337 tons of obsidian. I mean, if you got it, might as well use it. Let's go in right in here. Of course, you can siphon the heat out of it using regular. Pop, pop. There we go. And then... Oh, are you solid hydrogen now? Yeah, oh, look how pretty. We are using so much power on this colony. 
Let's check out last cycle. Uh, 8,000 kilojoules. I was thinking it was going to be more than that. That's good. Oh, should I put a natural gas, a couple of natural gas buffer tanks? I'm thinking so. Maybe, can I fit two right here? Oh, what a perfect fit. Even though this might melt. These might melt here. We'll see. But, ooh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, that would be bad. Stop clicky, 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 bad. Let's go up through here, in. I guess natural gas can get hot too. There we go. And then we'll separate it right here. Look. Uh, no, it's still oil. Oh, there's some natural gas under there. That's okay. I was like, I thought I saw water. But notice the crude oil is sitting at 93 degrees. Eventually, if it doesn't sort of replace, it'll keep getting hotter and hotter. Oh my gosh, there is sour gas in there. No, there's not. There's no sour gas. You were mistaken. Ha 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 ha. Um, and this is once it's above. Or when it's below 500, it'll, it, it'll, it'll then shut that off. Okay, so this is all working. <laughs> I saw what I saw, says monkey. <laughs> you saw nothing! Uh, aluminum. Aluminum. Oh, automation. You need automation pretty badly. Right there. This is going to be, I guess, 90... 50? Uh, the question is, what am I going to do with the polluted water? Because it's going to be a pain. We could do... It's 177 in here right now, but it's not always going to be that way. So that's why you have to eventually contend with the polluted water. Like right now, I could just put a, a giant metal tile flooring and that would be okay. Like that would flash the water, but it wouldn't last forever. Something like that. Then I can put the petroleum generators up here. Jamorian says the VOD will be edited like they edited out Alicia Keys singing off key at the Super Bowl and in later videos. Oh, that's funny. Now I can add temperature shift plates for sure. Absolutely. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh no, I'm out. Plastic! It defaulted to plastic again, chat! Oh. You dirty rat! I'm gonna use obsidian. Obsidian is not good for this, but we are out of minerals. <laughs> Monkey said, so close. <laughs> Why are you actively rooting for chaos? Oh, I should have deleted this way long ago. Oh. 
Yes. Yes! What do we have for steam pressure? 42 kilos. So eventually we're going to have to send water through that system as well. Man, we're going to be destroying so much water eventually. Luckily, there'll always be sour gas in the lower right of the sauna. Mate, oh. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Now there won't be. It'll eventually go over. Of course, it's not going to get past this until the water bounces in there. Then it'll natural gas by plot. Yeah, for some reason, they're taking their sweet time doing these. Oh, because they're out of resources. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Every once in a while, chat. Me in this game. So on Monday, I recorded two videos. On Tuesday, I edited two videos. That's why you, some of you who did your homework saw one today. And you will also see one tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. You'll see one tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or Friday. But so Thursday is normally my like, what do I want to stream? Or what do I want to record or work on? I know I want to do some streamy things, like um, some stream updates. Like, I don't like my YouTube end screen. I'm about to announce a, um, a challenge. Not a challenge, but a, I guess a challenge. A contest, if you will. To design um, my logo. And to design um, some YouTube graphic stuff. And the winners are gonna get A, the notoriety of me stealing and using their artwork, um, but the credit, and also like a $100 gift card to Amazon or something like that. We're gonna figure that out. There will be first, second, and third place prizes. We're gonna do a whole thing. Why? Because I don't trust Fiverr. I don't know what it is about me. I just, I'm like, I don't wanna haggle like, I'm sorry, I don't like your work. Can you do it over again? It just, it puts me in an awkward situation. Uh, you know? Whiskey! Welcome back, Whiskey. I don't see a video from today, just diggy diggy bio. Uh, yeah, I meant yesterday. Thank you, Kiri. So I think the next one is going to come Tuesday, uh, Thursday. Hope you're doing well, Whiskey. Good to see you. We um we started streaming earlier so I can um so we could how do I put this? So I can stop streaming. I'm trying to use not use the words get off on stream because every time I do, someone in chat says nice. You know, and it, it's kinda like, oh I it just I what can I got I set up. You're welcome. <laughs> See? You <laughs> <Ooh>. behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Nice. Um, oh, look, we got natural gas coming in. That's nice. Let's get rid of all this. Okay. All right. I think we're just, I think we're, I think we're at a good spot. We know we're going to be coming in here. We're going to be doing lots of magic in here next time. Chad, I need minerals. I need minerals badly. Like, this is sedimentary rock. Okay, yeah, yay, but... We're just going to start chomping up on some of this. This is good eating right here. Good eating. <laughs> He's gotten delirious. You could just swap your temperature shift plates for plastic. Yeah, I see what you did there. What time is Friday stream? Uh, usually 1 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what we're playing yet. 
EQ asks, uh, so what is featured on Free Play Friday as well? And I'm not sure quite yet. It's normally something that I want to play that I also know chat will be interested in. So I'm not sure. Um, I also need to start digging this out. So I might as well... Yeah, I know it's this is hot, but I don't care, okay? Let's see how hot it... Oh, it's going to be really hot, but it, I don't care. I do not care. The dupes can deal with it. Oh, there goes more material. What can, I, I'm going to have to use obsidian again. Is that good there? Yeah, that should be good. There we go. Yeah. Heat death. Yay! Slora <laughs> says, is always rooting for the heat death. I mean, you do you, boo. Oh, I love it. We're going to have to take care of this as well, eventually as well. I think that's going to be good. We have our picture. I'm going to try to do the heart for Valentine's Day out of the sour gas. My art skills are not great, hence the reason we're doing a contest. Whiskey says they've lost a lot of time to Enshrouded. Taco's been playing Enshrouded too. Happy heart date back, Whiskey. Kiri says, you also said you didn't care when you had the dupe sweep all the debris out of the sauna and then chaos happened. But look what happened. We have a working power brick. We've done a lot with the power brick. And it's looking pretty sexy. You've got to admit, it looks pretty sexy. Oh. Oh, oh chat. Ha ha ha! Yes! What's the matter? Uh. Get in there, sour gas. <laughs> you will die. I don't care how much steam I gotta destroy. Go. Push over. It's not going to push over, is it? It eventually will push over. It likes to go right. Monkey 91's man Danger. says it will Robinson. never. Danger. Is it closing or opening and closing the right times? Yes. Okay, it is destroying. It's just we have a lot of sour gas. The sour gas boiler is broken. <laughs> Sour gas is forever. <laughs> Ooh, it's going slowly but steadily. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Yeah! Who's your daddy? Not Sour Gas. Ha ha ha. I will leave those there for now. Brian says, don't worry. There will be more pink steam. There always is. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We've already taken our picture. Oh, what a good stream. I think we're all over the place as far as professional gameplay. We had some, some deep scientific conversations about specific heat capacity and thermal conductivity as the normal with oxygen not included. Uh, we had a little bit of chaos, just a smidge. We had a little bit of sour gas. That's always good. Codes man put the sound alert. The sour gas boiler is broken. Why is we getting a cloud error for oxygen not included? That's never good. Did we screenshot the sour gas for the YouTube thumbnail? Yes, we did. I'm going to try to make a heart out of it. <laughs> Suarez says he did it. The mad lad did it. <laughs> he giveth and he taketh away. 
It makes me happy. Oh. Gutsy Mike with the follow. I appreciate you. Where's my where's my music? Okay, there it goes. I appreciate you. Welcome. I love our new ding. Ding. Somebody's walking through the door. I appreciate everybody coming by. Abbotton says, same thing just happened to me opening Coral Island. So maybe it's a steam thing. Maybe it's a steam thing. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm yawning. I can't be yawning on stream. Oh, all right. Let's, uh, let's go find out who is own. Dude. Deusty is at 154 folks. Way to go, do. Oh, I know where we're going. I know where we're going. Anytime we have an opportunity to go say hi to Taco and support their charitable stream, we are going to do it. For those of you who didn't know, Mr. Taco is a charity streamer. Right now, they're playing Satisfactory. They're an expert-level Satisfactory player. Um, and when I say expert, I mean a real expert. Not like me, who is a sometimes expert, sometimes just does silly things in Oxygen Not Included. <laughs> All right, the rate is up. I'm getting ready to run these credits. Hey, no matter what you're doing tonight, whether you're sitting home alone or if you're going out on a little date action. Remember, there are people all around the world that think about you and care for you. I, for one, would miss your presence in this stream. So please don't take the holiday to heart too much. You know what I mean? Don't take it to heart too much. Don't allow yourself to spiral in it because you deserve all the love and happiness in the world. Speaking of which, I appreciate everybody coming out and saying hello and participating in chat. Please say thank you to the mods and to each other because without a good without good chat, the stream is only uh, half complete. So much love to all of you. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.